Hello, everyone. Some of us may have been around people who are very disagreeable. People who lie and manipulate so much. If you know someone is like that, why are you arguing with them? I guess it is one thing if you are caught off guard. But why, day after day, time after time, trying to speak sense to them when they are choosing to not accept logic? Why even bother yourself? If there is something you want to do, even if it is against the wishes of the troubled person, do it, as long as you are not sinning. Please think about it. Let's say I am that way, a big liar, manipulator, whatever else. You are trying to speak sense to me. Everything you are saying, I am telling you no, uh, the sky is red, every dog is pink, I never do anything wrong, I am always the victim, you know stuff like that. If you already know, I am not going to take logic, I am not going to take common sense, why even waste your time? trying to explain things to me. You may say to me, well, Kevin, I think I should explain things to that bad person because maybe um, that person will change. Don't you know there are some people who know the truth? They know the truth. They know they are doing the wrong thing, but they want to just mainly to do their own way. Did you listen to me? If someone wants to go their own way, even though they know their way is very bad and against you, choose to go the other way if you have to. Some people are smarter than what you think. Some people are like predators. I believe some predatory people come after nice people. It's as if they can sniff them out. What I am trying to say, don't play their game. I am not saying you have to be rude. I am not saying you have to approach them and, and tell them, I know you are playing a game. I know you are lying. I know you are manipulating, blah, 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 blah. If you know someone is playing around, don't play their game. There is someone I know and someone was trying to play a game with that person. The person I know kind of stopped engaging in that other person's game. Don't you know some people do bad things to get a reaction out of you? Did you know that? Some people may feel so bad about themselves, low self-esteem, insecurity issues, so on and so on. They may see you stable. They may see you happy. The way you feel, they may want to feel that way. So since they can't feel that way, they want you 
which which I believe, I believe all of this. I believe they want you to be miserable like them. As some people say, misery loves company. If I am saying that right. So they may want you to be like them. So they may do things that they know will make you angry or do things to make you angry so you can begin yelling so you can begin cussing and acting out of character haven't you seen some people smile when they have made you angry don't you find that kind of strange around friends and stuff like that i can understand you know people will tease you and stuff like that i am not speaking about that i am speaking of like uh, people who may like making you angry for bad reasons some people may believe if they can make you very emotional they can control you if if i control the way when you are happy when you are sad like in a very bad sense that is power you are giving power to me there are also i believe some insecure people out there they may need a lot of emotional support they may even have abandonment issues so what i guess some of these people may do which is toxic what they may do is press your buttons i know that this woman gets angry when i do this i know this man gets angry when i do that so let me make this person angry. Even if you begin cussing, yelling, acting all emotional and stuff like that, some people may take that, well, if that person did not love me, they would not behave in that way. Meaning, because that person, yeah, that person is cussing, yelling, and stuff like that. But that shows that individual loves me because why? Because they are showing emotion. No matter if it is good emotion or bad emotion, if you are showing some type of emotion when a person does something to you, some toxic people i would say may take it as all good show me good show me bad just show me something by showing me something i know you love me i believe some toxic people believe that and behave in ways to get emotion I really hope this is making sense. Chances are a person like this, let me go a little bit deeper. Perhaps their parents were not very close to them. Maybe they would, um, how can I say this? Maybe they would be very active than unactive in their lives showing emotional support for a while then cut it off then for a while then cut it off so this on and off emotional support type of thing let me show you love one day then not really show you anything let me show you some anger one day then not show you anything so this 
I don't know really what word to use for that, but this on and off thing. As children, we need constant love. Like we need someone there. We need someone to take care of our needs. Like we don't need someone to love us, then push us away, then love us and push us away um insult us then ignore us and we need constant love we need as children and adults too we need emotional support so if you did not get that when you were younger how do you believe you are going to behave chances are you are going to have abandonment issues you may even have uh, so much anxiety, so much um, insecurity, so many mind issues. Like, hey, I am a child. You are my parent. You should be taking care of me. You should be teaching me. You should be there for me. You should be loving me. So when your parent don't really do those things, chances are, you will learn bad things in a sense are you listening to what i am saying to you so it may not be your fault for being the way you are but you have to change the way you are if that makes any sense or should i say it may have not been your fault how you were raised as a child, yes. Let me say that. But you have to change the way you are. You can't stay the same way because you have had or have very bad parents. Yes, your dad may have not been very loving. He may have not been, uh, uh, what word is that? He may have not uh, lifted you up often with emotional support, so on and so on. He may have been cold. He may have been like uh, very authoritative. He may have not really shown, showed love to you. It is time to get over that. Your mother may have been that off and on person loving you pushing you away ignore because maybe your mother or father had issues like i guess you can blame them but what if they were raised in a similar way that you were raised so what are we going to do you blame your parents, your parents blame their parents, then their parents blame their parents. So everyone is blaming each other and not changing. That makes no sense. Okay. You have been done wrong. You were raised the wrong way. Cut it off right there. I was raised wrong, but I am not going to let my I am not going to raise my children wrongly. So let me cut off that cycle of generation after generation of children being raised wrongly. I hope this is making sense. You don't have to continue on that way. Don't be like, do you know what I don't like? And I believe it is very ignorant you know you were raised wrongly you know your parents did you wrongly but what you do you like hey i was raised in this way and i am going to be that way to my children too i know doing this right here is wrong i know doing that right there is wrong but i am going to do it anyway because i had to go through it that is ignorance that is you know it is wrong why would you suffer your children with it 
when you don't have to. Well, you know, when I was younger, my parents would yell and cuss me out. Yes, I know that's wrong, but since I was raised in that way, I am going to do it to my children. That's nuts. But anyways, man, let me stop here. May God bless us.